Kong movie. Yo, that was in the King Kong movie. There was a King Kong movie. <laughs> I just smoked. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit high. What's happening, y'all? It's your boy CW Davis, and I'm back here once again with another reaction video with my road dog, Gingerbread Man. What's happening, dog? Today, we are going to watch the top 10 most prohibited places that no human is allowed to visit. Yo, just saying. In the description down below me, you will find the links to everything. Their page, the original video. Yo, I've been watching it for a little bit, so uh, let's get into this right, y'all. Starting off this countdown, we have Zone Rogue. Zone Rogue, sometimes called the Red Zone or Zone Rouge, is an area in northeastern France that got destroyed during World War One. After the war, the land was declared 100% damaged. That like it's infested with, with ghosts. With devastating effects on the agriculture, it was said to be impossible to clean, and human life there was said to be impossible. So the French government prohibited anyone from going there. Danger! The area is littered with human and animal remains and millions of unexploded weapons. So it's literally dangerous to go there. All you need to do is be traveling there, and you set off an explosive. That would not end well. Can you imagine that? And that should ricochet everywhere. Room 39 is a top secret room located in North Korea. The whole location is heavily guarded. They don't want anyone getting into this room. In fact, it's said to be one of the most secret places in North Korea, a place that's already so secretive. It was created in the late 1970s. Room 39 is the meeting place for a top secret North Korean party organization. They apparently get up to a number of illegal activities in that room, like counterfeiting, selling and producing drugs, what? and selling weapons. Apparently, they bring in 500 million to 1 billion dollars per year through these illegal activities. <laughs> yeah, no wonder they don't want outsiders inside of this room. Should anyone try to get in? Well, I'm sure you can imagine. That's right some now. gangster right, shit. Today we have Valley do Habare. Located in Brazil in the Amazon, this area is one of the largest indigenous Bye. territories in the world. It's home to a number of indigenous tribes. There are said to be 2,000 individuals belonging to at least 14 tribes living there. In fact, they- Nigga, no. Oh, ho, ho, wait a minute, dog. You see, buddy, right here? Them look just like the people that was in the King Kong movie. They was a Tony Kong. Yeah, they gonna eat your face. No, <laughs> nigga, I'm good. I ain't going. Until several years ago. But the Brazilian government has banned anyone from going there. It's illegal if you do so. This is because they want to protect Nigga. There. Any contact with the outside world could be dangerous. You see that haircut on my boy? Did you hold oh, that? Wait a minute. They was getting ready to square off because his hair coat was messed up. Oh, Lord. Who said you wanted it like this? I did not. I said take a little bit off the top. You took the whole back half. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to cut your dick. Oh, my God. That's crazy. We could Yo, they was getting ready to have a sword fight because so he messed up his haircut. Tribes, it's illegal to visit the area. In our seventh spot, we have the Korean demilitarized zone. This is the area that marks the separation between South and North Korea. The only people that reside there are high ranking officials. It's illegal for anyone. Yo, that look like site. squid games. In fact, it's one of the most militarized zones. Yo. In the world. So why would anyone even want to go there? In fact, they have enough weapons to bombard Seoul with over 10,000 rounds every minute. Now, the North Korean side primarily serves to stop an invasion of North Korea from the south. Up until 1972, over 7,000 Korean soldiers infiltrated North Korea. More than half of them lost their lives. That is a classic. Don't cross this line. Yo, y'all the same people. In our sixth spot today, we have Metro 2. 
Located in Moscow, Russia, there is a secret underground metro system operated by the Russian Ministry of Defense. It's said that this system connects the Moscow Kremlin with the Federal Security Service headquarters. Bruh. But the problem is, no one knows where it is. That's how secret it is. People know it exists, but they haven't been able to find where it is or how to get in. Either way, you're banned from doing so anyways. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with Varosha Cyprus. Once upon a time in the early 70s, Varosha was a popular tourist attraction. In fact, it was one of the most popular ones in the world. That was until 1970. Damn, look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. When Turkey invaded. As a result, all the residents had to flee or else they were killed. They were forcibly removed from their homes and were never allowed to come back. The Turkish military then took control of the whole area and no one is allowed to enter. In fact, the whole area is now fenced off and under constant supervision. Not only that, but army patrols have orders to shoot on sight. So people don't even want to take a chance by going even remotely close to there. Wait a minute, hold up. So you mean to tell me y'all invaded a place dropped a bunch of bombs told everybody to get the hell out to do nothing with it bruh that is so yo that is some bully shit and it's, listen we ain't make y'all part of that shit so y'all can go bully people cut that's that that's some that's a waste that's a waste in our fourth spot we have pine gap Located deep in the Australian outback is Pine Gap, a top secret military base. In fact, this base has been named Australia's Area 51. That's how mysterious it is there. This base is operated by the Australian government and by the CIA and the NSA. In 2013, it was revealed that the NSA uses this facility to collect internet and telephone records. Say what? When originally it was said that this place was just a space research center. Clearly, that was just one big lie. So this place is just a big place for intelligence activities and military operations. What's scary is that it's rumored that this base is home to one of the most terrifying surveillance systems out there. Uh -uh. The Echelon. This is the code name given to a very secretive and intense surveillance program. So yeah, anyone- And they watching us right now. In, in our third spot, we have- <laughs> This is another island completely off limits. And that's because it's filled with monkeys. Now you might be thinking, oh, I love monkeys. They're so cute. No, okay? These monkeys are said to be infected by the herpes B virus. Ew, that's nasty. What happened was that the monkeys were originally from Puerto Rico. But then there was a viral outbreak among locals because the monkeys became overpopulated. Wait, 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 wait. That still don't say how the monkeys got infected with the shit. Who gave the monkeys the herpes? Fix this problem by moving the monkeys to Morgan Island. In 1979, over 1,400 animals were relocated to Morgan Island. Oh, who got the herpes Island from the monkeys? The what the fuck is going on here? They missing a piece of information. Number two, we have they just skipped weather. over something. <laughs> America's best kept secrets. No, I didn't just make that up. That's actually what it's called. This is a secret facility located in Virginia. Wait, what? Coming in at number two, we have Mount Weather, AKA one of America's best kept secrets. No, I didn't just make that up. That's actually what it's called. This is a secret facility located in Virginia. In fact, how? Wait a minute. How is it America's best kept secret? But then you're gonna be like, this secret facility is located in Virginia. That ain't, it's clearly not a secret. For years, people were wondering if Mount Weather was actually real. It was just kind of rumored to be a thing. But alas, it is real. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, and y'all just... And most amazing top so 10. Look, they even got a pamphlet. What the... the yo. <laughs> yo. They just... Y'all, yo. Most amazing most amazing top 10. Y'all y'all ruthless with it. It's, they got all different types. They got this one. They got the other ones that say... That uh, the, the FBI don't want you to know this secrets and top 10 of this CIA don't want you to know this and y what? And yet and still y'all know everything and just be telling everybody. Yo, did, yo. They just don't give a damn. This place. So we all know if there's an apocalypse, 
that's where the government will be hiding out. And of course, it's surrounded by armed guards, fences, and razor wires. And in our number one spot today, we have Russia's nuclear missile facility. In the Ural Mountains in Russia, there's a top secret town that no one is allowed to visit. We kill you. We break you. This is the place we don't where give Russia a fuck. does their nuclear missile testing. As a result, no one we is allowed do to go we in do. or even near the vicinity. Again, why would you even want to go anyways? That place is probably incredibly radioactive. It's also believed that around the area, the Russians have a secret bunker complex for the government and or the Russian armed forces. See? See? Alright. Yo. That, to that, that tells you right there. There ain't nobody to fuck with. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm about to say. That United States need to do. Mind your damn business. I'm gonna mind my damn business. Gingerbread. My dog. We gonna go mind our damn business, and we gonna get back at y'all next time. I'm gonna holler at you. C W Davis, Papa Bear, high standing entertainment. We out of here. This is one of those nice girls. That's why I'm rolling.